Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS continues work to help taxpayers suspend mailing of additional letters. But first, an attempt at a joke. I apologize in advance. The new spin, the latest pivot regarding the over $30 trillion United States debt is apparently debt is part of the new national defense plan. President Biden explaining, down to us peons, the United States owes so much money on purpose as part of an integrated and well thought out national defense plan. You see, we totally intentionally and tactfully got into massive amounts of debt so that when someone tries to rob us, they go into bankruptcy. Reporters responding, hey, wait a second. Isn't that just an old your mama so poor joke? President Biden replying, uh, no, it's a well thought out and incredibly sophisticated national defense plan. You, you just don't understand. Anyways, in President Biden's latest meeting with China, his parting words were, America will forever be in your debt. When reporters asked President Biden about the younger generation's worries that their father's generation is leaving them an unsustainable debt, he responded, I don't know what they're complaining about. Most young whippersnappers these days are always telling their fathers to just leave them alone. Reporters responded that creditors did not think the United States understands the seriousness of the debt problem. President Biden responds, Oh, come on, man. It's no big deal. They really just need to give us a little bit more credit. IR 2022-31, February 9, 2022, Washington. As part of ongoing efforts to provide additional help for people during this period, the IRS announced today the suspension of more than a dozen additional letters, including the mailing of automated collection notices normally issued when a taxpayer owes additional tax, and the IRS has no record of a taxpayer filing a tax return. So it sounds to me like the IRS is really backed up on work at this point in time. It's currently tax season, so they're trying to prioritize and shift their attention to the new flood of returns that are going into place. They're more overloaded than normal due to, of course, the pandemic and the response to the pandemic, much of which are law changes related to the IRS. And then the IRS has to deal with them. For example, the things like the stimulus payments, things like changes to the, to the child tax credit and the changes to the earned income tax credit and many, many others that uh, are taking a system that usually changes fairly slowly to a system that has put a lot of pressure on it. And on top of that, then the COVID restrictions in terms of work restrictions and the distancing, social distancing and all that have really been put hard on the federal level because they've been trying to set an example. So that means that all the federal workers kind of got hit maybe harder with these kind of restrictions than others, which of course is going to cause a backup. So now there's a backup and we're currently in tax season, it sounds like to me. And so they're trying to deal with that. So these mailings include balance due notices and unfiled tax return notices. The IRS entered this filing season with 7 million original and amended returns filed by individuals and businesses that have not been processed due to challenges of the historic pandemic and is taking this step to help avoid confusion for taxpayers and tax professionals. Quote, IRS employees are committed to doing everything possible with our limited resources to help people during this period, end quote, said IRS Commissioner Chuck Reddick, quote, we are working hard, long hours, pushing creative paths forward in an effort to be part of the solution rather than the problem. Our employees continue to expend every effort to balance a confluence of multiple unprecedented demands, including successfully starting the filing season, working our inventory of unprocessed tax returns, as well as looking for additional ways to minimize burden for taxpayers, tax professionals, and businesses. Quote, our efforts are not limited to suspension of these additional letters and the possibility of similar actions going forward. We have uh, redeployed and reallocated resources throughout the IRS and have implemented innovative strategies in an ongoing effort to provide a meaningful reduction in our inventories, end quote, Reddick said. These automatic notices have been temporarily stopped 
until the backlog is worked through, the IRS will continue assessing the inventory of prior year returns to determine the appropriate time to resume the notices. Some taxpayers and tax professionals may still receive these notices during the next few weeks. Generally, there is no need to call or respond to the notice as the IRS continues to process prior year tax returns as quickly as possible. However, if a taxpayer or tax professional believes a notice is accurate, they should act to rectify the situation for the well-being of the taxpayer. For example, the IRS cautions people with a balance due that interest and penalties can continue to accrue. In addition, IRS employees may in select circumstances issue notices to particular taxpayers to resolve specific balance issues. <laughs> so that's great. They're going to be picking taxpayers to resolve the issues. I, 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 I always feel kind of suspicious when when it's like not a uniform law and therefore how how are you picking tax you know how, who gets to be picked is it a random picking in any case the irs does not have the authority to stop all notices as many are are legally required to be issued within a certain time frame the irs will continue to assess other changes and system modifications that the irs may be able to implement uh, to assist taxpayers on an array of issues the irs will continue to make information available to taxpayers throughout the filing season. The IRS urges those who have a filing requirement and have yet to file a prior year tax return or to pay any tax due to promptly do so as interest and penalties will continue to accrue. Visit irs.gov for payment options. There's a link to that here. The suspended notices include individual taxpayer notices, and you've got the notices below that are going to be suspended. The notice letter, the CP80, the unfiled tax return, CP59, CP759 in Spanish, unfiled tax returns, uh, first notice, unfiled tax return, then the second notice, and the final notice return delinquency, the balance due, uh, first notice, balance due, second notice, final balance due, notice, third balance, uh, uh, intent to levy, withholding compliance letters. It's amazing, amazing to me that they are they are doing this <laughs> because this is <laughs> they're stopping the collection letters that's that's kind of strange any case business notices so now we got the business letters i won't read the numbers just the titles return delinquency uh, irs since this notice uh, when there is no record of a prior year return being filed final notice return uh, delinquency this is a final reminder notice that we still have no records of a prior year tax return so there's links to those notices here if you want more information on that links to some other stuff there'll be a link to this in the description